Hey guys, today I'm going to be unboxing and demonstrating this little cool device for you. And what this is, is an actual uh, little mini M.2 drive standalone clone system. So let me get it out of the box and show it to you and I'll explain to you what it does. Uh, this item was gifted to me to do this video and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to unbox it for you and show you how it works. So this is a pretty cool little device, which I, I only accepted this video because I'm actually upgrading my computer and I desperately needed something like this. Because I can clone regular drives, but M.2 drives are a little, you know, a little bit different. And so I really, when, when the company approached me to do this video, I was really excited to have the chance to do it. So there's our little stand right there. Um, and then of course, here's some USB cables and the power cord, okay? Okay guys, so this device works all on, it, all on its own. So if you have a drive, an M.2 drive that you wanna clone, you just put the drive that you wanna clone into slot one, and then you put the empty drive that you wanna clone two into slot two, plug it in and turn the power on, hold the button down until it reaches 25%, is blinking, and then um, you let it go and it will literally copy all the data from one drive to the other, clone it. So that's what it does, it clones M.2 drives, it's standalone, you don't even need to plug it into a computer for it to work. Um, so I'm gonna do that and demonstrate it for you and show you how it works and we're gonna see whether it can successfully do what it's supposed to do and that's what you're about to see. All right, so I've got everything set up here. I've got my source drive from my PC uh, that I'm going to be cloning over here to a new, this is a uh, Samsung 500 gigabyte. I'm going to be cloning it to a W uh, Western Digital Black uh, f 2 terabyte. Uh, so I'm getting a lot more uh, increased storage here and that's a newer model and uh, newer generation, faster speed. So first thing we got to do, there's a little button on the back of this. We're going to hit that to turn it on. We see the little blue light comes on. Um, and we got to wait here. We got two solid blue lights there. Once you have the two solid blue lights on, we're going to press the clone button and hold it until the 25% light lights up. And there we go. And now it is cloning. And uh, we'll see, we'll wait for it to be done. All right, so um, the cloning finished and I've removed the, the uh, source drive, placed it over here in this little carrier that this, this one came in and I moved the copy drive or the target drive over to the source and plugged it into my laptop here. So let's see if it all worked, okay? Um, so let's turn it on here and it does take a little bit to boot up. We'll see the little yellow light start blinking on the drive and then we'll watch for this little blue light right here to uh, start blinking. And there we go, we see that it uh, popped up on the drive. The, the cloning worked fine. Now the real test is I plug it into my main computer and see if it will boot into Windows. That is the critical thing. Let's see if it works. All right, so we're gonna put the little drive right here in the uh, slot right underneath the computer here, right underneath the CPU. And it takes one little tiny screw here, real hard to get in there. I have big hands, so I have a magnetic tip here. Um, it's hard to film this, but we'll get that in there. And then we'll screw that down in there. Don't have, it's a tiny screw. Everything's good and snug. That hard drive is installed. All right, guys, moment of truth. Let's boot this baby up and see if it works. It's, it's turning on. We see the little hard drive up in there blinking. Come on, baby. Give me a Windows boot screen. Ha ha! Looky there. Oh, wow. Booted up exactly. Perfect. All right, guys, I'm telling you what. Check it out. It cloned a Windows boot drive 
and it did there's it just came right up perfect guys well guys man i gotta tell you i'm pretty impressed with this thing i mean as small as it is what it did saved me a lot of time um it, it copied one of these little super high speed drives it, without even putting in a computer it was simple press one button and it and it clones it and cloning is a difficult process guys this is pretty amazing i really had some worry that it wasn't going to complete the process because i've had other cloning systems not do it but it did it just fine you saw it itself it's right there working inside the computer um it did a great job it didn't take that long i had about 500 gigabytes on that that little hard drive copied it over and I'd say about 30 minutes and it was done. Guys, pretty impressed and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, please hit that thumbs up under the video to let me know it helped you out. Until next time, this is the Gadget Man saying, I'll see you later.